So let's see. No more waiting. No more questions. Only answers as we get into the pistol round yeah. of overpass. No, I think you raised a really good point. I think this is a very exciting series because every single player has more to give outside of Snappy, oh, right? And already bye -bye. refresh with some banging openers. Doto and Diha on the receiving end of that. Sphinx is over here at long, and he's keen to fight this while he's oh. got the range. Well, now they are getting closer, but these peaks are all one at a time. And so Sphinx is able to take two out of the round with him. Tess says refresh and stown. Now being led by Cadian from beyond the grave, his ghostly apparition Ooh. is going to try to push them in the right direction. This from Hades is a ballsy little move, though. Yeah. They're still waiting for this peek at long. He gets the info. Tess says up close should have this locked in. Oh, and with Hades now gone, it's snappy. 1v3. I don't want to <laughs> say we've seen him win this one before, but we have. Yeah, he's got no smoke this time, so he's going to need to do it all with a gun. He's got the kit for time if we get to that hey, point. what's and going through your head right now? Coming back to him. If you're heroic, you're going, we, we can't lose to this yeah. guy again. But that might we, be your undoing. Yeah? It, it's a big... Oh, oh, oh! Ah, Snappy, oh. no! The timing! He just misses it. CS timing 101. Yeah, lovely round for Refresh. He just started that round by going tap, tap, and taking down both monster players off of the peak. Really, really good stuff. But, uh, yeah, it, it got a bit scary there in the mid-round, but still Huron come out on top, and that's a reassuring fact in and of itself. Like you said, expecting three maps, unless, you know, Snappy goes nuclear again or someone can fill that void. And the pistol round already, the momentum shifted back in the favor of Heroic. If you're Heroic right now, you're saying, come on, guys, refresh, reset. Let's get back in. Oh, they might have a flash from B into Con, but Canyon's up very deep already. He has got a... What? Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah I was going to say, bro. What? But they're not ready for Sphinx. Nades just doing what they can to whittle down their opponents before they see them, and Shush doesn't need to see them. Spams the smoke. Stown holding the aggression. He's got Snappy dead to right. Another one traded at least. That's fine for Heroic. Full control right now. Sphinx. They never truly knew about the second man in Connector. And so he still has the chance to catch them by surprise, but Cadian will not let that happen. Holding on passive, letting the scout work from heaven. Hades looking for one of these B players. He misses the cross. There's Spinks finally going. It was only a matter of time with Heroic walking into B. Texas is even here to cut off the scout save. Oh, hey, these nuts, am I right? He just takes him out of the round. Tessa's on the receiver end of that one. <laughs> Blindsided by the scout. That's a gnarly little shot. Yeah. Now the bomb's going. By the way, that one's free. Y'all can use that. <laughs> hey, easy. Not so much. Cadian does shut it down. So no AK saved. It will have to be the full eco here for Entz. And Heroic back, stumbling back to their feet. Yeah, we have to see what kind of a stumbling back to their feet it is, right? Is this like a composed, elegant, you barely even notice they fell over and now they're back in their stride? Or is it, you know, sloppy night out, the falling over just never seems to stop. It's all like a continuous battle of, you know, trying to stay upright. Here we go, a little bit of a, uh, a B play, only up against the pistols here, so this is a nice chance for Heroic to find a clean round. Snappy's gonna get thrown up no. on the triple boost, they're holding for it, and that's also a lot of information to have. You know that there's three players over here towards the back of the, uh, the B site now. And so with that info, Heroic probably slow it down. It looked like they wanted to go for the B play, and these are only pistols you're up against, oh. but you know that everyone's here. <laughs> Sphinx is dead in con. You know the other three are on B because of the boost, and so the world's your oyster. Up they walk, reboost comes in, but again, it's massive info, just shuts the door. And with that, the round should just be falling in the favor of Heroic. Uh, you know, they're still going very slow for this third man, but they know there are at least two down on lower right now. Obviously, footsteps can be heard from this position on short, down below. But the fact that they are not means Heroic are in no hurry to rotate, only moving one man up now with wards taken. They've got two on the move, but this is all just uh, a formality. This should just be clean as can be. Refresh continuing his taps off the P250. Grant coming through. And just damage being hunted for by Enz. Oh. 
is down. He is checking this on a timing. Refresh, so. chill. Yeah, mate, Refresh is hunting them down. He wants to He wants to come out with a statement of his own. I don't think he's happy with how no. bullied they just got on that last map, right? And I think, it's... actually, from the games we've seen, Refresh has been, like, the, the shining star. You know, obviously, everyone's had their moments, uh, but, but Refresh has had some phenomenal games uh, in the Pro League already, and we're just days in. Other teams' results getting affected too by this matchup. Events take this victory. If they run over this series and 2 a heroic, it's going to knock Spirit out of contention for those playoffs as well. Spirit don't want that, but it might not be down to them. Rooting for heroic, perhaps. Here's a gun round. Oh. Yeah, now heroic know about that AWP. Right, this is a. Uh... Nade stack onto the barrels, not going to find anyone there. But Refresh is looking like he wants to uh, maybe take this first engagement over to Ward Short. Heroic, they do love employing this boost as well. They often throw, you know, a little bit of utility to try and force peaks out of you. And with Dota playing the barrels late, he could be open to this boost, right? He's only moved into this position because it's already been triple naded. So now he thinks, well... You know, they attempted to clear it. They've used their util. I don't have to worry about getting, you know, nades stacked in this position. But him being on barrels leaves him open to this boost if it does come through. Just something to bear in mind as Heroic are setting up this B-Wood utility. Yeah, it's so heavy on A, but because they're double long, Tessis's little lurking toilets could be massive right now. Will he stay here and kill them coming down connector, or can he catch them retreating back to the A site? Util's going in now. The execute for Heroic, and they needed that entry. Oh. Diha does get spammed out at least in the second man. The spray isn't pretty from Stown. Tess is now activating the lug. The bomb can leave if it wants up con. And that means Sphinx is going to miss all these timings right now. Oh, the penny's dropped. He's realized they started to move back up. It's gone very quiet. Tess is deeper than maybe they're ready for, but the call is in. Sphinx with a backstab dropping one. The bomb down. Now it's just trying to pick it back up. And he does just get out scot free. Even though Tess owns A, Ents aren't feeding him. He'd love these kills. And a truck plant has to come through just to stop the flank. Orb cut off behind the smoke. Tess is providing cover, oh. and he takes down another. Now split between two, and they don't know about Doto. Oh, yeah, Doto's the nasty surprise. Just Shush left to beat down to the 1v1, and Shush takes the fight right away. Big round out of Shush, and Tess says to save that one for Heroic. Whoa. And we're starting to get more of the Heroic we wanted yeah. to see, right? Uh, you know, they, they, they struggled getting anything going back on Mirage. But here on a more comfortable map, when everyone's a little more aware, so you're also kind of fired up after the, uh, the hard L you caught back on Mirage. We're getting a more classic-looking heroic yeah. here. I love that rotate, right? That's such a good call out of uh, out of KDM, right? If the B-play works, if they get these double entries, they just run in. But if it doesn't, you know Tessas has so much space up on A that you can leave Tessas out B with one. And he does die, but it was all a means to an end for a round here. It should happen, but... Hades making us question even that. Quick dig and Snappy's found Shush through the smoke. Don't do it like this. Not like this. Stown just trying to hold on. Does get rid of the rifle and can't follow up. Leaving Cadian in the clutch. Orp is not really what you'd want here. Ents are sticking side by side looking to trade this kill. That makes the AWP a problem. Cadian, problem solver. Rotate up. Hades making the gamble. Leaving Sphinx down on B. So Cadian's got his chance opened up once again. The window, however, closing. The flank activated, and this is a really lovely play for Spinks. He knows he's conceding B, but he'll have that backstab in just a moment. Has Cadian read it, though? Seems like No, Cadian. No, he locks that in. And now just Hades left to be. Oh, oh, almost the Deeg flick, but not meant to be. It's on the back of the Deagles that they get their first round. And as you point out, Hugo, yeah, the free AWP upgrade for Hades. He will take that all day long. All right. I like that we have an early response for Ents. I was a little bit worried with how this game was starting. That You know, we could just have Heroic on their map pick trying to steamroll them down. And it would really take away from the efforts of the boys back on Mirage. So... Nice early roundup on the board. Lots of money, because you were you were buying here anyway, right? You weren't anticipating to win that last round. Yep, they've got the nades. Heroic, I mean, I say this every time we watch them on this map, but their utility is always great. 
And again, I'm going to throw back to a few Pro League seasons ago where they started every overpass game to, you know, using double nade stacks to deny bomb plants up on that A site. Something we even see Gan do a lot now on the B site of this map. Shiro said he see CT a lot. Heroic were there first. Put the writing on the wall. Nades, however, this round don't work out. The Molotov's good. Hades smokes it to try and stay with his teammate, not offer him up on a plate. Grenades chip away at the health events. Heroic defaulting. It's a bit of a push on B right now. Refresh. This is how careful. we open up the pistol, if you remember, right? Yeah. It was uh, it was a double kill in very Whoa. similar circumstances, but this time he's flashed off the angle. With Snappy throwing that flashbang over to blind him. And it's allowed Ents to take this monster control. This poses a bit of a question to Heroic, right? It's like at this point now, Ents are gonna... Oh, that's a little rough. Dodo got caught moving back through monster. And what I was about to say was Heroic only had this A control, right? They'd lost outside of monster. You're anticipating at that point, it was gonna be a heavy A lean. They get this B kill now, and they're still looking to follow through on A. Snappy and Hades both in this site. The bomb has got to come in. Hades with the AWP, trying to keep the round going. Ooh. He's got a 1v2, and if he denies, Cadian, oh, the missed shot! And that's all it's gonna take. Cadian walks it over the line. He had to get that. That yeah. was a 1v1 for all intents and purposes, and he's able to... Uh, to lock it in for Heroic. It's not pretty, but yeah, Heroic, they're winning the rounds, right? They they come right back in off the back well, of that eco win. Yeah. So that was very, very scuffed because, you know, they're, they're leaning towards A, right? And as I was trying to say, I didn't want to do it in the middle of the round. When you've lost that monster control, it's a little bit awkward because you know at that point, Ents no longer think you're going B. And so the odds are they're going to heavy stack A. You actually have that information. You just don't have the time to, to, to adjust, to go back down towards the B site. So so Heroic know they're walking into a stack. They know they're a man down because Refresh is so far away, but they had no other option but just to, to follow through with oh, the A no. play. They're gonna try and hunt the orb. Hades is sticking here. He's gonna catch him with nades and he grabs a kill and still escapes. Meanwhile, spam frag came through for Heroic and is still doubling down on the entries. Now Hades locked in the pit, flashed out for a second time and he can't hit the second shot. Tessa's lovely entries. Spinks now with a deagle and it should be a done deal. Oh, oh, one more to do it, but he can't find it. It's down with two and Heroic with six. This is far much more like the Heroic we've seen throughout this group stage so far. They may have been a little ruffled after that first map. Snappy in their head, but he's one and seven right now. A different map, a different game, and a different Heroic. Different Danes. Yeah, mid molly's gone in, but no one's looking to peek with it. Instead, Ents are looking to take short water away, and Hades is actually going to open the round up with that orb over at long. This is going to send Heroic away from A. They, they decide now, right? Like, we've been mollied in mid, we've been delayed on the mid control, we tried to get out towards long, we ran into the orb. We don't like that. So they're going to group up outside of B. But if you remember, Ents took short away to open up this round, and there was nobody here for Heroic to watch for this. Uh -oh. Are they ready for Diha? Refresh is holding for the swing, but it's Cadian to trade that out and deal with the man at short. Heroic... Now that they know short's been taken, they're going to start to look towards monster. Cadian spammed on that angle over from the barrels. Snappy looking to fight for this, looking to hold on. Going to try to get behind Pillar, but Shush beats him to the punch. Doto will deal with Cadian over at short again. Monster smokes back in. The bomb's going back to try and move in on the short side. This is going to, yeah, I was going to say, he, he needs to go back to Shush. Does not want to lose the bomb on short. That would be the end of the round there. So he's going to take this safe passage into the site, oh, but this open plant, he could die to the uh, the AWP, and there it is. Hades drops the bomb, it's left on to Shush, 1v2, 25 seconds. And, oh, he's making it happen, he's making us believe, just Doto left to beat, and oh. Shush with the swing, all three in the clutch, and it's seven on the board for Heroic. This is a return to form from the incumbent Danes. Yeah, not an in-game leader, but an in-game reader right there. Perfect call on every single position in the clutch.
you know, it's, it's it does them well in that round. It puts them in a three on two, right? Taking Monster in previous rounds. Okay, maybe it hasn't gone well, but pushing up in water. Diha does catch players there. Hades getting opening kills here and there. But this one will be a lot more difficult. They're close left. He's going to run back and just get out of time. Shot misses, but Stan won't fail the second time around. He's seen three players here. He knows what he's up against, and he doesn't care. Going to remove them one by one, calling for support. And this is nice and easy, nice and clean for Heroic. Needs to be. Don't want to give any way in for the pistols. Mate, Flank this, on long, this sucks for Diha. Oh. oh! Nah, nothing going to come of it. He's running. He's running through. Oh, lordy, he run. Dota's oh, still a B, but even with a Deagle spam, no more than one, surely. Even right, if he gets to see. it, won't change oh. the outcome of the round. That's a quick headshot, yeah. but I'm not worried for Heroic. Yeah, sorry, D, bud. I would love to be rooting for you here. I'd love to be like, yeah, oh, D, how has he done it? But he doesn't do it. Five health with the Deagle and the one on four. And Heroic are continuing this dominance. 8 1. And at this point, I hope we get to new. I hope we get like a, yeah. like a, like a, like a, like the, and it certainly looks like we're going to, I'm by the way. Sure, um, yeah. <laughs> and you, you know, know eight I, one, not a one game. That can would, be your biggest mistake. It would be a very fitting showdown, right? Like you end yeah. up on this middle ground map. No longer do you have the caveat of like Mirage being a good Ents map, a bad Heroic map. Overpass being a real good Heroic map and one that Ents don't lean into as much. You know, if it's that weird mid-ground where it's like, oh, you're never going to pick it, but you also won't ban it, and, well, for that reason, everyone will pick it against you. Vitality did. Now, Heroic as well. They like what they saw in that game, and they're making it even more one-sided. Some boosts up now. Doors shut. So got this is, as well. Yeah, this is the boost they do yeah. with the Molotov coupled into it, right, to try and force a peek into the boost. Now, Snappy saw the Molotov come over, and he's a smart guy, so he knows, yeah. and he's come to his teammate like, yeah, watch out at Barrels, watch out for the boost. They might try to force you out of position at Monster with that Molly. So that's why the smokes drop there ahead of time, right? That's like a double purpose. It, it also stops Molotovs blooming at Barrels to force you into the boost, and it protects you from the angle. So that's a nice reaction. Spinks has this weird backstab again, but it's, it's not like he's going to get anything. All these rotates yeah, he's getting up no A info. have come up connector. Yes, he'll be quick on the flank, but right now they don't even know it's a fake. There's another man at B selling it. Hades now realizing, dropping Shush. Kadian's gone from lower. Spinks now activating. He knows it's A. It's been cool, but it might not matter. No one's breaking through. Tessas can't do more than one in, and Ents will win the round. They don't fall for the fake there. The late rotate backup connector. It's something Heroic have done a, f uh, a few times now on this T side. And are finally cottoning on, right? We're seeing the, the adaptations. We're seeing the, you know, uh, learning brains of Ents and Snappy in some of these previous rounds, right? Taking more water control, not panicking off these A rotates. And maybe there's a bit of hope left in this half, but, you know, when you've got eight T-side rounds on overpass and you have this much more room to build, it's going to be very, very easy for Heroic to, you know, laugh their way through this half at this point. Spinks back in the corner, and now this position has value. They have no idea. The mollies that came into mid have slowed down Heroic. And they don't know about this spot. They haven't seen it yet. I'm really curious to see how much it gets away with. The fact that he's pulled this out, you know, a couple of times now. They're checking it. They're looking for him, and yeah, oh, right. stands ready for that. Yeah, good read. You know, the idea, I guess, is like, you know, when they're clearing long, you hope that they just don't check, like, the mega deep angle. But I feel like if you're already looking that far into long, right, everyone's going to... Yeah, because, you know, that it's not like that's super telegraphed. Yeah, okay, Stan probably reads it because of the molly, but you throw that molly anyway, whether you're pushing mid or not. Mm. You, you know, you like to condition, you like to just throw it almost every single round, and then sometimes you'll be pushing party and taking those mid spawns, but... Yeah, in that case, long, snappy, just blinded, stays on the angle, couldn't do much about it in the corner there. Dota's going to try and re-aggress, flashing behind himself, going through on the reload, he catches Kadian. Lovely stuff, Dota's done, and Hades is all alone. They're already way deeper than he's ready, but the flick will do. One more, maybe, but Stan would not allow it. 
picked up Snappy's up, puts it to good use, and builds up nine here for Heroic. Yeah, this is the team that we've seen in these first three days. Snappy still silent, two and ten. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I think you kind of knew that the odds of Snappy giving us another, you know, 30 kill bonanza were, were pretty low, right? Like, that was the, the, the best map of CS he's ever played. And so to ask him to do that twice in a row is always going to be unrealistic. This is where we need to look at the other boys, right? This is where we need to look at, like, the usual suspects. Cadian very, very aware is that this long area is something Ents have liked to get tricky with. He's going to check the rock. There's also a player at tree. It's a battle of the elements over here at long. And well, whoop, Flash is going over. And Heroic get all the glory. All right, Diha. Yeah, 4 and 11, you know, having a rough time. It's not a bad play does uh, prove to be problematic if they go up long into A. But you're hoping you can grab a kill in toilet, upgrade to a rifle. But I love how Heroic just slow down here as well. Right, they're not in a hurry. They've got so much of the clock left up. They know that Ents are scrambling, scared, making their gambles now, leaning A with this water control. And even though this is the best setup Ents can really allow in this round, it's not going to save the day. Diha needs some incredible... Shotgun shells to connect. It stands clearing so methodically. It's not going to get easier. It's been spotted. Shotgun pre fire. And there it is. Diha with one. Big oh. down two. Bomb drop. Can he grab a gun? He's seen a third in the divider. And Diha almost delivers a third. Dota on the big flank. Running up connector. Have they heard it? Katie he looks aware. And he's still dead anyway. Bomb needs to cross yeah. in. That's awkward. And Dota doesn't want to allow it. But the flash provides safe passage to heroic. Oh, that was almost. so close. Oh, oh that was the hit. hit. That was the hit. If only he knew that yeah. was the hit, though, Hugo. Won't change much. He's got an orb at the end of the day. Mm. He wants to save it. No kit, barely any health. Flashes mean everything there, by the way. Yeah, like, having, having that cross. tiny bit of utility left, right? You know, you talk about the, 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 the tiny differences that can affect an outcome of a round. You know, sometimes having $200 extra, getting a flash out, it lets that bomb get past the AWP. And so Heroic, they continue this streak, 10-2. to two. They're on a little revenge story of their own. Yeah, both of Ensis rounds have come individually as well, right? Like immediately responded on by Heroic. And that just makes it so hard to build money. It's not like you've got back-to-back -back rounds or taking clean rifle rounds either. You're coming out with 1v1s, you're coming out with clutches. It's their first one. Yeah, despite that double one take, Rogue make quick work of it. Yeah, things get awkward in the toilets, but they don't panic. They get the bomb back under control. And even... One of them, right? If you take your map even more dominantly, it's a bit like, yeah, you know. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy for you boys that you won, but we won better. <laughs> and so, this is their chance to do that now, Hugo. Oh, those nades nades oh. onto the boost. Oh. He had just got back up as well. Felt like he was done with that, but no, down to 40. Smoke deep con, Kadian looking for picks, but Snappy's not going to move around this corner with an MP9. D has just trying to spam, but really are making risks with that play, especially with an AWP on the other side. Kadian won't bite, though. Moves back out. You have to fire a shot. You have to give away the position of this AWP. It's going to become clue, uh, clear soon enough. 
see, Heroic on Overpass, uh, they're, they're normally pretty ballsy, right? Like, they even even thinking back to that, I think it was Team Spirit matchup the other day where, where Kadian buys, like, the yeah. second round AWP to Pete Khan, right? This is a team that, that like to take risks, that like to have fun, that like to be a little trolly at times. Um, but, but right now, we are getting an incredibly clean game out of them where yeah. I really feel like they are giving this 120%. Like, they're treating this like it's like major final territory. They don't want their legacy in this series to have been a dominant game, one that they're barely able to edge out. No, they want to yeah. send a message. And, you know, Yanko addressed this on the desk as well, but it's like, you know, yeah, sure, they're 3-2 up in the group. They're in a very 3-0 uh, up in the group, but, you know, if they lose this series, well, next they've got to play Astralis. That's not always been a great matchup for this team. So that suddenly, you know, throws you back down to 3-2. That leaves the spot open for the taking. So it's something to keep in mind. 10 seconds, you need the pawn, and Hades is here to deny. He's found a kill. Miha follows up, a refresh. No time, no chance. No kills, nothing offered up, and he'll get... Oh! But it won't make a damn difference. The firepower is there, right. but the round is not. Refresh, it... This guy, <laughs> his ability to like get shot at from from 180 degree like field yeah. of view uh, and make it happen. That's how Inferno he ended. Mid -push, that's yeah. how he ended the game versus Spirit. He did something similar the other day versus Vitality. Uh, uh, it's just mind blowing. He reminds me of like uh, like you know how Vmas and his spray transfers yeah, sure. are such a prolific thing. Refresh is the sort of dude where you can be either side of him <laughs> shooting at him and and he's like an owl for crying out loud, bro. He's so aware. His head can do a full 180 swivel yeah. like he's like he's undergoing an exorcism. <laughs> Oh, it's getting a bit awkward. It's getting a bit wild now. Ents have uh, bit the bullet and they've won a round out of nowhere. It came to the clock, but at this point, you just take what you can get, take what you're given. It's just, you know, worst case scenario to lose all those guns at the end, but they're putting their weapons here to good use. Four and three. Hey, he spotted. He still gets a shot off. Refresh is gone. No response. He saw them on yeah. that job. Stalin knows just as well that Hades will finally fall. He couldn't escape. He had to re -peak. There was a timer on that position. They were coming to him. And so he takes down a couple with him at least. Three on two. The re-aggression is going to cut off this late B rotate unless they go connector. They're walking right into this. Dota, oh if, my god, no one clears this. Yeah, they, they should not be ready for it. But as I say, heroic, yeah, they, they are considering final. everything and they, yeah. and they are treating this like it's the major final. So, Sweaty. So like, here we go, right? They're yeah. sweating. This is, oh, look at, oh, shush, stop oh, it. Oh, no, it. no, no, he believed before. Actually cleared the angle. You always got to go deeper. Yeah, it's all about how deep you go, right? Four to ten, and Ents, they now could mirror that scoreline from Mirage. Considering this looked like it was going to be a 13 2, you'll take that. It's yeah. something. You know, I doubt you're like up in arms going, oh boys, five round CT side, yes, you know, but it's something, it's a jumping off point. That angle is really weird. It certainly looked like, you know, we had X ray off. Uh, Jakey showed that very well. It looked like it was clear, man. It looked like he checked it. You'd see something, no? Nope. Denied. Good double for Doto. And now Hades taking matters into his own hands down connector. This is only pistols, though, Harry. So heroic. That's focus what I was going to say. The, the 5 10 scoreline feels like it could really be a reality after that round win. Nade stack again? Or they've just got one this time? Yeah, not much of a stack. Yeah. Nade? <laughs> Nade? <laughs> Uh, here we Maybe, are. Yeah. They're just going to do a standard little B push here, all in with the utility. And these can spiral out of control. Dota is the only guy in the site. He really needs to be taken like two to the grave with it. And it's only one damage onto Tessez. Ooh, more damage coming through to Deha. The nade will rain out with a kill. It's a three on one. Stown is the only guy left. His Deagle not able to weather the storm and ends. They do pick up five. We have mirrored score lines at the end of the first halves here. It was 10-5 back on Mirage. There
on this full Danish roster. And that's only going to pump you up. That's only going to motivate you. Ice in their veins. Snappy three kills. I don't want to keep pointing it out, but it's just such a stark comparison to that first map. But this is more like it, right? This is more, you know, we're getting Hades performing. Dota who's getting a lot of entries. Spinks with his lurks. And this is where things can maybe get interesting. Events can start off strong with a pistol. Dota lining up grenades. Only one man on A, Kadian. Quick tap. Couple of them, in fact, but he finds nothing and he doesn't know how close they are on long. Jumped out. D her with a shot. And Heroic running a rotate. They've got no kit right now. That's going to make things very claustrophobic as the halls get taken by Ents. Yeah, D is in with a double and still causing trouble as he's dinked down. Shush, Hades going to finish the job. They're actually chasing these remaining heroic players. And so ends, they're going to pull up with a pistol round in this second half. Now at 6-10, to 10, right, you'd be surprised how quick these score lines yeah. can start to shrink down. What's the, uh, what's the response going to be out of Heroic? They're a pretty keen team when it comes to the four spies. And so they are going to pull out Deegs and Armor here. Trying to come in with a response right away. If it doesn't pan out, that means the scoreline is going to read 8-10 before we have the first rifle round through for Heroic. Still an if, though. Still a question as to whether Heroic can upset the grain. The same round here out of Ents as well. Dota's lurking B, but everyone else moving through the playground. And Heroic double con, trying to play to the power of the pistols up close. However, this locks them in and away from A. Tess is going to try and reroute, get that control back. Snappy spots him, not wanting to offer up a kill, dodges the nade. There's not much info to work with for Heroic, but you know the timing of that con play. You can't wait there forever. Always got to worry about long in the back of your head and... Now they're even moving ahead, putting Tessa's deep in as KD and Bates for him at the back. It works well with an AWP and a rifle, but two Deagles? I don't know. You might even have a boost from the other side as well. They just swing it. KD makes contact. Now they've got to check close and still worry about the deep angle. They'll deal with him. Snappy on the board. KD and having to back up. Ents closing the gap, and this should be similar to the pistol round. This time, though, heroic. They take no chances. They go, yeah. look. Everybody come A. Let's just all get in this site and give it what we can. Diha and Snappy are both keen on the entries. And Diha is coming alive to open up this second half, right? Coming into this, we said, like, we would likely now have to start looking at the rest of the squad. Diha is often one of those names. So it's nice to see him finding this form looking good, especially considering we've already had a pretty good performance out of guys like Hades in the opener of Overpass, right? That AWP has been no slouch in his hands. And so with a few more players finding their footing, with them, you know, breaking apart this four spy round, they've at least closed the gap. When the first rifle round comes in for Heroic as well, if that doesn't go their way, suddenly yeah. you're looking at a tie game. Yeah, this is what you talked about. You said, you know, at the end of the day, winning a pistol, 10-5, suddenly you're you're very close. But really, you know, all that is is one rifle round between yeah. five rounds. Yeah, okay, there's some some this and that as a pistol. There's a force by Eco's always winnable. But, you know, at the end of the day, you're relying on one four by. At least it's going to be everything for Heroic, right? Taking that force by, while it delays their rifle round, it means they will get that AWP if they want it if they save for it and so that's a you know a good prospect for Cadian. this is a, a round where you could go for b rush if you're ants you know you don't have a lot up against you but that's the read made for row four down lower immediately and set up outside of the site boost coming up double boost on top as well both players want to fight to oh no it's They're really late some serious time <laughs> to assemble <laughs> stepping on legos right now dota's looking for entries into this site Nah, mate, that ain't Legos. That's like connects right now, mate. They're snapping them together and, oh, yeah, it's all come up in yeah. favor. These Bionicles have been torn to pieces. Yeah. <laughs> Bionicles, mate. That's a throwback. Yeah, dude. I still have the yeah, whole collection. Yeah, you've got a room dedicated to it. Whole room, just Bionicles, Beyblades, everything from like the, <laughs> the 2000s. Dominoes. You've got those little uh, skateboards that you use with your two fingers. Yeah. What Love are they called? Them. Uh, I don't remember it's what they're mini called. Mini skateboards. Mini skateboards, yeah. yeah, I think that's the Definitely name. the branding. <laughs> uh, 10 to 8, Got though. Zoids as well, you remember them? I don't remember Zoids. The little um, 
Maybe remind They're me. They're like little, basically magnets. So they go together and they go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's all there is. I know exactly. Dude, what for the mean. year 2000, oh. kids were so easy to uh, entertain. Yeah. Now you need to put a whole show on on the internet. You yeah. need to show them video games and, and stuff. And they're still entitled. And they. <laughs> But back in the year 2000, mate, you could, or what was it? Was it orbs or something? Maybe they were yeah. called different, but I, I just remember, you know, little magnets. That, yeah, that no, used magnets, to be the... man. That's so much fun. Right, so here we go. Down in Concadian. Is he a magnet? Is he a bullet magnet? Ooh, he sees Henson. Oh. Yeah, he's going to take one to the grave with him. He wait, does wait, best wait, wait, snappy. Wait. They, don't, they don't know about Tessas. Oh. The Spinks will uncover the truth that laid and connect this down dead in the A bomb site. And this is a quick A follow through, a very alarming pace on this push. Ents are looking like they're in with another round. And at this point, we have to start thinking like this comeback is, is starting to take a pretty terrifying shape. Yeah, and Snappy's going to start getting confidence as well, even if that doesn't show in the fragging. Like, he's leading his team to victory right now. The calls are coming through. Oh, but Hugo two on two now. Backstab should be there. Refresh won't fully check it. Doto with a drop. And now it's all on Shush. He's going to give it a go. Nothing to lose, everything to gain. But look at Sphinx looking at the ground. There's no kit. The time is ticking. He might need to get out of here right now if he wants to keep his weapon. AK and bye-bye. Shush is out of there. Sphinx going full swisher, running that A4. Swapped off the AK for it. Looking for the speed, looking for the pace. Of that rifle. Right now, Heroic have got to be getting a little bit ruffled. Feathers plucked out by Ents. One more round, all to do it and close it. And again, there's only one rifle in this for Heroic to play with. We, you know, we always give them credit when they deserve it. We always say, watch out for these rounds. Yeah, they seem to always have a plan. They're, they're very, very proficient and, and good at like heading into these hero rifle rounds yeah. with a game plan, right? And, and an actual, you know, it's not just a case where you go, yeah, let's just kind of do what we normally do and hope that someone steps up. Now, normally they, they, they center around like really trying to get the max value out of the Deeg armor players, putting the rifle in, in a spot to succeed. So let's yeah. see if they're able to stay true to that now. They would love it if this could be one of their signature hero rifle round victories. Got the boost Flash up. getting set up. The players here blinded. Snappy was not on the anti-flash oh. angle, but Hades trades them all over at Monster. And with Sphinx waiting down here in con, these players want to get involved. Sphinx is going to mop oh. them both up. And so Ents are looking like they're on the path to a tie game. Yeah, that's why Sphinx takes the A4. Lovely spray. Got the control perfectly. Stout with some deeks. And he needs something. He's got the first. Bomb might try and hold off now. Might try and wait. Group up with Sphinx. He might, Hades might even throw in the AWP. No, instead, they just switch back to both rifles. Ah, there we go. Sphinx retrieves it. Stan's made the read. He's on the right move. He's going to be there in time at least. But he's got to walk as to not give away his position. And throwing the smoke and getting closer and closer. Stan, now here's that land. But he's not falling for it. He's not uh, believing it. The flash, however, that's a different story. Stown now doesn't know where to look, where to go. He's still here at the right time. Bomb will get planted, though. Both players truck side. Sphinx pushing in. This is dangerous. Barrel might give him away, and uh -oh. it does. Stown's got a 1v1 now. No kit. Time of the essence. Would love the AWP, but might just have to stick to the Deeg. Yeah, he's low, and Hades is backing up. The bomb's on truck, so he can't really, like, afford to, to go anywhere else but to play in the site. Luckily enough, Stown's so low. This, this shot has got to be immediate from Stown. It's got to be crisp. It's got to be clean. And Hades just will not give him the fight. Nice. Until it's too late. 10 to 10. Remember, wow. this was a 10-5 half to Heroic, right? This was a mirrored scoreline from back on Mirage. There, Entz took it 16-5. Heroic never even managed a round. Whereas now... Now we have Entz coming up with answers on Heroic's map pick. Something the Danes were unable to do earlier in the series. Uh, eight rounds in a row across these two halves. 10 to 2 now to even score. This is very impressive. Is it a flash in the pan though? Heroic now have their best buy yet. Orb surrounded by utilities and map control taken. Given away by Entz. And because Heroic get that map control, they pop short. They see no one there. They hear nothing B. They've actually moved the second man up to A. More of a standard setup. Even a third starting to consider it as well. Stan's going to walk the rotate. Eventually just running amok. And this is the perfect time for Ents to run a B explosion. They've still got corners to clear. 
Refresh doesn't have a molly on his bow's position, or a smoke rather for the molly. Shush is holding one ready to go out near the pillar. And the flashes are coming through. Here comments. Yeah, Diha with that opener again. He's been so good at getting these, creating this space for the team. Oh. Hades, what is that trade? Oh. They're out. And that's a save for her. Yeah, it's getting to them now. I oh, mean, they yeah. can feel it. They're like, you probably were quite happy if you're heroic coming into this second half. You were thinking like, all right, boys, another day in the office. Yeah, Mirage didn't go our way, but we're not about to let Snappy and his boys embarrass us here on our map pick. But now with each round that has sailed past you, opportunities are decreasing. The lead that you once had, the lead that you were so happy about is now flipped the other way. Yeah. And that's it's just in pole position. And that's just a mystery, right? It's not based off anything but the sheer lack of information. They see nothing be water, they hear nothing outside monster. No one's spamming the word or throwing that molly to get you the short control. Meanwhile, because Heroic only started off with one on A and four on B, playing for the rush, funnily enough, they never had that mid info. They didn't peek down deep and see, all right, they're starting their default with three out mid, watch out for a late A. You know, they could go con speed. No, there was no info. And so Heroic do just gamble in that round to an extent, moving three up to, to the A site. And then we have that lovely entry. The smoke doesn't land on the uh, Molotov of Bowers. Instead, I think it was Shush used it for the electronic smoke, you know, right in front of the pillar, in front of the Bowers. At that point, Refresh is already dead by the time it... Because statistically, this should be a three-mapper. They are giving it everything they've got. And we said heroic. They were playing this like it's a major final. Well, <laughs> now it's a rising themselves to that level as well. They want this 2-0. Oh, making a lot more noise. And that might be their undoing. Doto spams the monster smoke. And Shush does respond with a kill. We've got orbs in this round. And despite all of this madness, Ents are still leaning back down to B. Heroic, again, triple set toilet side, trying to make the read, but with no real information. It's a gamble. It's helped by the fact that they do actually only have four opponents left to deal with. Two apiece on the B-bomb site. Easy, right? Just get a double, lol. Or we'll see how Heroic fare, because his B-execute is inevitable right now. Door off the Cadian wrist breaker. Flicks to Sphinx. Now the push comes in. They're going to hunt him down in the water. Monster's been cleared. And Kanian has as well. Shush has gone to Diha. And the entry is always dominant in favor of Ents. We need a third man down at this B bomb site. We need a hero. It could be Tessas. Yeah, he's at least tipped the scales back in favor of Heroic. This is one of the best situations Heroic have been in yet. Just snappy. The guy who stole Mirage away left in this 1v3 clutch. And he might finally get a taste of his own medicine here. What will Heroic prescribe? The Doctor is in. Snappy traded after one. And there is Heroic oh. finding an equalizer. Their yeah. first CT round. Their first round to break a nine in a row streak out of the end squad. And that was a better setup, right? Even though they had that, that triple toilets play, it's better than the, the like scared rotate they did last round on that B side where they walked up CT. It just means your rotates are not only like you know, pretty predictable, but loud as well coming down through heaven and CT positions that are cordoned off by utility. No, they just, they, they realize that the XX comes in and they just sprint down connector. They're so quick to get down in there and uh, get down there in tandem with their heaven player. And Ents never gets set up inside of the bomb site. They might get both the entries at the cost of one, but past that point, it all comes up heroic. Cadian flashed off. Tess is set up in party. He needs a multi kill, or at least he'd like it. Cadian can cover his back. Tess is. They have no idea. They are not going to consider this one. It's not looking likely. Tess says the body pushes him in, and he activates not for a double, though. Ents will take that. A free trade on a position they never knew was owned by Heroic. A four-on-four four opens up the map. And again, Heroic lean A. Uh-oh. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, I mean, you, you, you couldn't make it up, right? Of course, as Heroic lean heavy up towards this A bomb site, this is when, you know, the ghost of Snappy through the Waluigi board communicates to the rest of his team. He says, look, boys, go towards B. You're destined for great things in this B-bomb site. As long as you can get past the gatekeeper of B, it's Shush. Up here in the most grimy of spots, he's only good for one. Deha, often the man with the entries, has to get traded this time around. Refresh now on the pillar, has got to do a lot of heavy lifting. They're moving in, they're coming his way. Refresh, what can he give us? There's the first, fully flashed down from short, helps him out. And Hades is left in this clutch, blindsided by the man up close, Heroic, are back in the lead. Yeah. The B plate finally able to with, withstand one of these crunches out of the end squad. Yeah, great cover from Stout. He runs through that Molotov. There was a little bit of a room inside of the firewall short. Missed it. It went too shallow for end. So Stout just able to save Refresh's life, right? You'd expect him maybe... I mean, really, I don't know how he gets one. He's full blind. But even then, he you're expecting he gets traded. They try and trade him, and Stout comes in through the Molotov, takes a lot of damage, but provides a lot of value. 12-11, like you said, Lee taken right back. Double Molly into the playground and middle forces a smoke, but you won't use two. You'll just take the fact that you at least got out middle, but now they have a lot to clear. Right? The same way that Spinks would push up in that CT side deep long. Ends are scared of the same problem. It's not apparent. It's only Tessa's deep back at long able to escape. In terms of Battle of the Orpers, Hades not being rivaled by Kadian just yet, but there's still time to recover. Again, the in-game leaders, they've had a lot more on their plate to focus on this game. And that is showed in the fragging. And grouping A and Haman Heroic round after round, triple stack this site. Finally, it's coming their way. Finally, the read is right. So you'd put your money on Heroic here, judging by what we've got right now. Even if those B rotates will take time. Yeah, for Heroic, they've kind of been wanting you to play into this triple A stack for the longest time, as you say, right, that they're finally going to have a chance to flex this triple A setup a little bit. You hope it's not a case where they've oh. waited for it all second half long and then they get dealt it and it crumbles. So there's wow. the opener for Kadian. Deha with a response is given the opener over at long. Will they be ready for this close player? That's the big question. Stown is the... Oh, Hades just misses it, but Snappy's going to deal with him anyway. The B rotations are a long way away. The First body. man in, runs through and gets shut down. Shush doesn't even get to leave the B bomb site. Yeah. Heroic, they would wanted to, to show why they're triple stacking A so much. They wanted to, to flex that A control and it does get mowed down. This is a little bit awkward now, right? Because you've been leaning heavier towards A, which isn't the most common thing anyway here on Overpass. And the fact that it does just get broken apart makes you a little bit worried here. You've kind of got to, got to solve that as a problem now. Yeah, I mean, you know, just the fights don't go their way, right? Kadian gets an opening kill on short. Tessas loses his life at long, and Stam gets cleared. You know, he shouldn't have survived there anywhere near as long anyway. Kadian was never really covering his toilets. He dropped the nade, but just peeked into Hades AWP. And refresh it. You know, he, he had to go. The option was saving the two on four or commit through the smoke. He just didn't know there was a molly there. And that's just free extra damage. Deha, you know, special shout out. I know Hades is taking a lot of the glory off this orb, but Deha, time and time again, both bomb sites, opening kills round yeah. after round and getting Ents into these, uh, you know, these T side rounds. No, it, it has been so impactful, man. Since getting onto this second half, if you remember, Deha opened up the pistol with the double kill into A. Then in the follow up round, he double kills a B entry. It, it is just so consistent out of this guy. And even when he isn't getting kills, he'll at least create space and opportunities for his teammates to trade off the back of him, right? Oh, you would have loved that opening kill if Acadian was able to get it last round this time. Not yet. There's still time to do it. Four stack at B. Heroic changed the grain, but oh, it's just such a danger, man. The, the, the reads, 
They kind of let Heroic down at times. You know, don't get me wrong, they've had they've had some correct calls. And even in Triple A's, they've been very proactive at taking space. This round is this no is exception. Good, though. They've pushed through Monster. They've got a big T-spawn flank activated. It will take time. Shush ain't even going for it. He can stay here, though. It means his team can start to rotate up, pad the defense at the top site. Things are looking good right now for Heroic. My goodness, what a stack. What a setup. Yeah, no, I, I love how Shush plays this. Like, if he committed to the T-spawn flank, there's timings where they can still go B, so you would need to keep a B player. But because of where he is, he can hear the rotation through T-spawn, he can spot Khan, so he knows that he's got B on lock, and that frees up everyone else to go and play this A-bomb site. Heroic, if they can't hold it with four, they can't hold it at all. Three was not enough last time. This time, they need results. Sphinx with the opener. There's a response out of Stown. It's the sheer number of bodies here that's going to come as a surprise to Ends, and all the kills looking to go in favor of Heroic. Doto and Hades with a lot to do. Flash oh, goes over. A team Maybe flash. a bit of miscommunication there as to where that flash was for I exactly. Feel like, I feel like Hades had that kill without it as well. Like he was dead on. Stan was so low behind the truck. That's a real shame. I mean, it was already, you were you were getting your day, uh, graves dug right in front of you, but uh, maybe you could have clapped out. Even so, even with the opener, KD covers the cross, down spam smokes for an eternity. And yeah, the stack is everything there to Heroic. It started scary, it yeah. started with a 4B, but they make the read early, they make the move. And without Ents, you know, having this default, a lot of these rounds for Ents, from the get-go, they're grouping 5A or 5B, and they're just working the site. Without this map control, look at the info Heroic are getting. They're getting these con flanks, they're getting the monster pushes. So, Ents may want to start spreading a little more thin, and this round is an example of that. One man B, double con, double mid, and a more standard round as well for Heroic. Oh! Oh! Dear, double it, dink! Refresh. Double dink through the wall. Sphinx and Snappy are like, well, <laughs> let's, uh, Who wants let's the orb, leave buddy? con, I guess. <laughs> no, me, me, no, me. Snappy's gonna get it, right? That's the benefit of being the seasoned veteran at the helm of the team. You say, Sphinx, mate, look, if you want to stay here, Fine. you're gonna let me have that orb. Yeah. And so they're just gonna group, set up for yeah. a B play. While at Heroic do have the aggro long push, and they will be able to rotate sometime soon, right? Because of the information Tessas is getting, we're kind of getting like a very similar situation here where Tessas is in a in an information grabbing position. He's like the scout yeah. of Heroic. He is sealing the deal that it's not the A play. Oh dear, Thanks smoke. to waiting, they're re-smoking monster. Yeah. And at the 35 second mark, we've oh. got to go through that stout. Oh, putting on a show with this AWP. And remember, Sphinx and Snappy, they were tagged up by Refresh right in the opener in this round through the plywood. They're both saving. Yeah, Tessas is here to stop that, though. It was in the game versus Spirit with Tessas refresh. These guys were so aggressive on the A site, coming in with these spawn flanks. Nice read. Tessas ready for the stairs position. Refresh happy with the assist. And he'll get another one. Snappy with the leg shot. Oh, no, he is not long for this world. They're coming, and they're coming fast. Two seconds. He wants to die before the time, and at least he does. It's better than the alternative. Gets the loss bonus, but does... Yeah, nothing else. At this point, you've got two grand per player against 14. This was looking so good on the comeback. 10-2, all the way back to 11-10, nine in a row. Favoured Ents at one moment in time. A massive 3k out monster for Stown. And now Heroic. I mean, there's almost no way they can drop the ball here. A lot of teams would play for overtime in this position, but Ents making a very ballsy call to buy up full. Puts a, a lot of onus on getting something done on the fast round. Snappy's going to open up with the tech. His tech nine's been great. Yeah. Kadian now, the other strong tech nine, and one, one of the best tech nines as far as I consider him. He's going to be up close in toilets with the AWP D combo. He nails D her. Snap oh, dead on the long push as well. And there's the follow-up. Speaks his tech while it will tap out oh, a handful of kills. It's the martyrdom from Refresh. Nay goes in, avenges his teammates. And Heroic are now on map point. One away from taking us to nuke after all. I'm stealing that angle. Whoever that was crouched by the bank, right? Head, you know, once you crouch, your head goes a little bit right on your model. So it's, it's almost hidden behind the corner. Very hard to die there. 15 to 12. Yeah, it's, it's a it's a ballsy call for Ents, but it's one that they might be coming to regret. I would have really loved them see, love to see them play for overtime. 
It means they at least get rifles. In the last two rounds of play, all they're going to have is Galil on Spinks. Pistols elsewhere. Nade stacks. No one's there. Look, once again, Heroic have got the info. They, they've yeah. pushed mid. They already know what's Had happening enough. here. They're not that giving it away. any respect now. The triple nades that comes in and Heroic go, yeah, it is B. We are right in this assumption. Refresh holding the line. Only good for one. The rotations, even though they're coming through, they're still going to take a while to get here. And right now, this site has fallen under Ent's control. Nice. But from heaven, Tessez reigns out with a kill. They've dealt with Stown on his flank. And so it's a two on two to decide if this map keeps on going or if we run it back on Nuke. Hades. Retrieving an M4 is going aggressive. Whoa. He spots one of these two remaining players. They know about Tessas. They don't know where Kadian is yet, but now they've seen him. They've seen him back in CT with the AWP. They won't give him this fight, and when they do, they're going to double swing it together. Very little that Kadian could do there. The AWP far from ideal in that situation. And so Entz, with that cobbled together by, with one Galil as the only rifle fielded, they keep the dream of an overtime on overpass very much alive. Yeah, it's a, that's a shocker of a round to lose for Heroic, right? Everything's seemingly going their way, not just the, the fast mid push for Stown with the, the flank, but the confirmation of the B-Rush given by those triple nades that get no damage off. And yeah, this game gets scary once again. It felt like a shoe in for Heroic. Instead, full Oos Brown, got to play an eco, got to give over one. And they're fine with that. They know that they'll, they will have everything they need for the final round of regulation. They've just got to make it work. Hades looking for the boost. Or, oh, here's that drop. He knows they're up close and he's silent in connector. So that info is only a one-way street. Kadian backs out just playing. Dude, he's so annoying, isn't he? Yeah. Like, <laughs> now, just, now they just full rotate up A. He runs it over the con. Just, it, it's like the equivalent of, you know, knock down ginger, if you know what that is. Yeah. Like, where you knock on someone's door and run away. Why Why the ginger? I don't we know. We just called it knock and run, I think. Knock and run. Yeah, oh, no, we've had this debate before. Run. It's so... No, I hate that, mate. Okay. You go, look at this, All right, right? knock down ginger. All right, mate. <laughs> All right, lad. <laughs> well... Nothing yeah. too gingerly about Ents in this round. They're actually pretty hands-on with just fighting these pistols. They're getting us to 40. That much was guaranteed when they break the money of Heroic. And so it all culminates in round number 30. Both squads are going to have everything Ooh. they okay. could possibly <laughs> need. I'm talking about this round like it's done because it should be. Oh. Uh, it should be. <laughs> it should be. But maybe it's not. Two on two, time ticking what? away. It's only no, damage. I think it's all yeah. back to normal now, right? Regularly uh. scheduled programming. How has Stown gotten away with this? This was a USP for the guy. Katie had always runs in right as the bomb goes off to try and save guns. <laughs> <laughs> it just dies. Oh. But right, as I was saying, it all culminates in yeah, round 30, like, Hugo. We've got full rifles for both teams. This is a battle of brawn and brains now. There's no caveats in terms of the money. There's nothing we're looking at this and going, oh, well, they're going to be lacking this. They're going to be lacking that. This is just who is better, who wants it more, overtime or we go to map number three. Oh, what a prospect, tantalizing and a double orb to do it. Heroic have got even more money off the back of those kills at the end. They're gonna try the five man boost ends, looking for the quick stack up, looking for the tower and they fall right off. That's such a shame. It's all a waste, it's all in vain. There was nothing to grab anyway. No one was open to that position. One up outside of B, Stown looking into water. He's nearing the 30 kill mark. His orping on B has been ludicrous. They're just walking out monster. Heroka double long right now. They have no rotate. Their anchors have got to hold. Shush about to see everything. Snappy with a spot. And there's the lineup. Shush with a double dink. Takes down. Don't put seven points of health. And Heroic, they might be here. They might be ready to close out this map. Yeah, a man down. Snappy. The one to fall, the savior from Mirage. Uh -oh. Now having to watch as his teammates try to make overtime happen, but one at a time, they're falling to the hands of Heroic. No. Shush him with another. Stown's gonna put the nail in the coffin, and Doto at 11 points of health. It is a damn good try 